This is Dr. B, and we're going to take a look at the type of bond for NaCl, sodium chloride. So the first thing that we can do is we can find sodium on the periodic table and then chlorine. Right here is sodium, and sodium, that's a metal. Over here is chlorine. Chlorine, that's a nonmetal. When we have a metal plus a nonmetal, that's going to be ionic. So we'll have an ionic compound. So already we know we have an ionic compound. There's an ionic bond between the Na and the Cl. So type of compound or type of bond for NaCl, that's ionic. Let's take a look at how that happens though. Note that sodium, that's atomic number 11, and chlorine is 17. So sodium has 11 protons, and because these elements are all neutral, there's no negative or positive written after them, 11 electrons. Sodium has 11 electrons, Chlorine has 17. And we should note that the period number 1, 2, 3, the period number tells us how many energy levels. So sodium has 3 and then chlorine 3 energy levels. Let's take a look at that. So we have 11 electrons. These are our electrons here, 17. And they're organized in their energy levels. Sodium only has one valence electron, one electron in the outer shell. And it can lose that over here to chlorine. Chlorine had seven, now it has one more, it has eight. That's an octet and that's stable. Since it's got another electron, electrons are negative, now it has a negative charge. You could say one minus or just the negative. Sodium lost that negative, it's positive, and this outer shell is empty here, so we can just get rid of that. And now underneath, sodium has eight. It has an octet. The positive and negative charges, they're attracted and we end up with an ionic bond. And often you'll see when this is drawn as a Lewis structure, there'll be brackets. And that helps show that the electron now is lost. It's over here. So that's it. NaCl is an ionic bond because it's made of a metal and a nonmetal. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.